Hi everyone, Dr. Timothy Gallagher here. And Dr. Michael Marciello. And we're from Maragall Medical. This week we're gonna be talking to you about advancements in the field of regenerative medicine. We all know about our Wharton's Jelly Allografts and our PRP injections, but have you ever heard of an A2M injection? This is some pretty exciting advancement in PRP technology, and you're gonna learn all about it, so stay tuned. Okay, Dr. Mike, so last week we had an exciting day in the office. We had a couple of representatives from Apex Laboratories fly up from Florida. Uh, we've been working with them for the last several years uh, with our PRP injections. And we had another Marciello in the office. Your wife, Adi, uh, was uh, nice enough to, to come up with you and look at getting her hips injected, but we didn't do a Wharton's jelly injection. We didn't do a PRP injection. We did an A2M injection. So this is some advancement in the field of uh, regenerative medicine and a little bit of a, a tweak on the PRP injection protocol. What exactly is A2M? Yeah, so if we uh, clarify a little bit, uh, it's an enhancement to the PRP. So it's not in a, something different, it's something added, if you will. So PRP stands for platelet-rich plasma. We do a blood draw from the patient. We take out the person's blood to a certain amount and spin it down and get to this uh, plasma level that has a little bit of white cells, a little bit of uh, platelet cells that help restore and recover their damaged tissues. Well, through the technology, through new information, uh, the companies that are investigating the aspects of regenerative medicine have looked at how can we enhance the benefits of these injection procedures? People who are doing the research have found that if you add an enzyme or a A2M, which is again, different protein that is still in the PRP solution, it's an additional filter that gets in, added back to the platelet-rich plasma injection to get injected into the, the damaged joint, we may actually slow down further the de degradation of the arthritis. So what does A2M stand for? Again, a lot of chemical names, but it stands for alpha-2 macroglobulin. Yeah. Again, it's a protein, but actually what it does, it's a protease inhibitor. What does that mean? Is so proteases are an enzyme that, it, and it's an inhibitor, so it inhibits this group of proteins in the joint that from nature just naturally degrades the joint cartilage, the joint tissue. And again, there's always turnover in our body, but in that process, sometimes it goes awry. Sometimes it goes to a level that the degradation properties are greater than what really should be taking place. And therefore that's a form and why we get arthritic. So the inhibitor slows down and prevents those proteins from breaking down the cartilage tissue breaking down that, again, destructive degenerative properties. So if you get it in there, you could actually have reparative properties, maybe not reverse the joint arthritis, but perhaps stop it in its tracks and therefore prevent the progression of any degenerative process that's taking place. And it can help out with pain relief, it can help out with the inflammatory process because there's still the PRP element of what's still injected. So it's an enhancement to the PRP solution. Yeah, and what we've been using PRP in our clinic for is, you know, for the most part, most of the patients that are coming in seeking options for regenerative medicine are a little bit older. So we're seeing younger and younger patients come in all the time, but generally speaking, in terms of your own regenerative cells, you have the most regenerative cells in your body at birth through your mid to late 20s. And then after that, the number of regenerative cells that you're producing starts to decrease and pretty dramatically once you get around the age of 50. So for the most part, a lot of the patients that are coming to see us will first start with the Wharton's Jelly Allograft injection to help with bringing in additional uh, mesenchymal stem cells to help with repair. And then 30 days later, we use the PRP, in this case, switching over to the A2M to act as a boost to really enhance the combination of the two injections. And certainly, if you're a younger patient, uh, we may be able to skip right to an A2M PRP injection as well. 
great options too when you're considering traditional medical treatment options and injection therapy, steroids or cortisone. We've talked about this for a long time now. That's probably the last thing you want to do is introduce a medication that's going to increase damage to the joint. You want to look for a treatment solution that's actually going to help repair some of the damage. Correct. And so the concept like a cortisone, again, that material can increase the degradation. We're trying to find solutions that slow it down or stop the degradation. So again, we think about Warden's Jelly, we are repairing some damaged tissue, and then there's this kind of layer of arthritic degeneration, which means cartilage degeneration. If we can then stop that from getting worse and have give us time to actually repair the body by way of exercise and stretching and good old things that we do to help a person move, we're on the right track to get, make that joint last so much longer. Yeah, that's great. If you're interested in looking into alternative options uh, for pain associated with arthritis, you definitely want to give us a call. More information can always be found on our website at maragallmedical.com. And there is a wealth of information on our YouTube channel. Please consider subscribing. I hope you've learned that Maragall Medical continues to lead the charge in advancing treatment options for patients suffering from degenerative conditions. Have a great day, everyone. Take care.